Now, for those of you with the mathematical brains or not, this is what someone else referred to as the quick and dirty method. It's called quick and dirty because it feels like cheating, because it works, but it's not exactly the right way to do it. Because if you need to explain, you can't. But if you need to solve absolute and comparative really quickly, then this is the method you could use. So we take our same tables based on everything we've been doing. If you come across the PPCs or both PPCs on one graph or it's set up in a box, you can do this quickly and honestly, it's not dirty, it's not cheating, but it just feels like it because it turns out right every time. So now all you can do is cross multiply and figure out input or output. So say you need to solve an output question quickly and you need comparative advantage. You're going to take Mexico's avocado production, multiply it by the United States soybean production, and you're going to get 1800. And do the same for the United States. Their avocado production of 90, cross multiply by Mexico's soybean production, and you'll get 1350. Now, the higher number is a comparative advantage in avocados. 1800 is more than 1350, so that 1800 belongs to Mexico. So this works. You won't be able to explain it or solve for gains of trade, but if you just need absolute and comparative, and if, you have a, if you're running out of time on your FRQ and you see that it has something like this, okay, opportunity cost, opportunity cost, okay, then comparative advantage. Now you can do comparative advantage quickly, but you can't solve opportunity cost. So you can get uh, absolute advantage, comparative advantage very quickly. If it's an input question, just look for the smaller number. Take avocados times soybeans for the United States and get your 1350. 60 times 30 is 1800. Now the United States, because this 1350 belongs to avocado of 90 for the US, the lower number is going to get you comparative as an input question. Like I said, quick and dirty.